Hello everyone, your voice here and welcome to our channel since you video 101. So for this episode we're going to feature one of the sensitive species that I have a difficulty in uh, growing. So for those who are already uh, a subscriber or uh, familiar with the channel or with uh, me, uh, you can see uh, some of my plants. They have grown very very large but uh, Pinguicula species are one of the uh, species that I have a uh, hard time growing to uh, large mature specimens. I, In fact, I have not grown one to such extent. What you, I am showing you right now is uh, a gift to me by one of uh, our col colleagues that is also into Centiverius. And uh, thank you, Eric uh, Aquario, uh, for uh, sharing this a specimen of Pinguicula because uh, I'll show you in uh, another video or uh, another clip uh, after uh, this of the Pinguicula that I'm growing. By the way, there are only three Pinguiculas that are, I think four Pinguiculas that are co collected in the wild. Uh, first would be uh, the one collected in Kenya and that is ES13221. And that is the uh, Pinguicula that I am showing you right now. There are uh, three more, uh, namely Lavernos uh, 12240 and uh, Lavernos 12248. And uh, I think those, uh, so, uh, one of those would be the um, Santiviria Pinguicula uh, Nana. And the other one would be Santiviria uh, Pinguicula Fa Disticha. So the fa disticha means that it is uh, false. Fa is for false, and disticha is fan shaped. So it is a false fan shaped uh, pinguicula because uh, it reverts sometimes to not uh, a fan shape. So we, as we uh, move on or progress into uh, presenting the pinguicula species. I will show you some of the uh, perhaps it was cultivated uh, uh, they are not officially uh, listed but uh, they are still part of the pinguicula species so like I mentioned uh, the one that is found by Lavernos the 12240 and the 12248 they might be the Afa Disticha and the uh, pinguicula nana. Pinguicula nana is the dwar dwarf type of pinguicula Right now, what you, I am presenting is still a small pinguicula. Actually, we can uh, make measurements of it. So, uh, I have my 24-inch ruler here, and you can see that it is only uh, at 5 uh, inches in height. And then the leaves are 4 inches in uh, length. So, this one is still a uh, juvenile uh, Pinguicula, and this is the uh, Pinguicula, like I said, uh, with the uh, collection number, and it was collected in uh, Kenya by Ernst Pex with the collection number ES13221, so that is the one I am presenting to you right now. Uh, what I'm presenting is a juvenile form because there are uh, specimens that have reached um, one meter, and that's three feet in height. And uh, perhaps I can show you as an ov overlay, uh, overlay uh, and on this content. Uh, the uh, picture was uh, shared by Al in the uh, International Sensitive Media Society group in the uh, Facebook uh, group. And then I can also uh, share to you a picture of uh, one of our colleagues here in the Philippines, uh, Marlon Disuyu uh, Mariano. Uh, his pinguicula, uh, I will be sharing an overlay as I discuss. His pinguicula has grown in a stacking uh, type form and has reached uh, 4 feet in height. So I will be sharing an overlay, uh, the one that was shared by Al. Uh, they are also pinguicula, the same as what I am presenting to you right now. But uh, that type has grown robust, uh, robustly, uh, giant type form, which um, is normal when they reach maturity if they are planted directly in the ground in the wild. When they grow in the wild, they would grow up to uh, three feet. Uh, Marlon's specimen 
has grown four feet because it is stacking in growth but uh, what Al has sent is really the uh, same form as what I am showing you right now but they have grown to a very very large uh, uh, very very large colony or clump and uh, they would be at around uh, same uh, almost uh, three feet or four feet Marlon is four feet it's tall because it's stacking uh, Al's is uh, about three feet but they are robust specimens so uh, I'll be sharing some pictures of them as we discuss and also I'll be showing you uh, a picture coming from another colleague that is collecting a species uh, brother Seto Cortico uh, he shared a picture uh, of three Pinguicula uh, variants. Uh, the first one would be a Pinguicula nana. The one in the middle is the one I'm showing you, which is just a Pinguicula. And the last picture would be the uh, Pinguicula fa disticha. So, as we add uh, into the playlist more episodes about Pinguicula, I will show you uh, some. Uh, that were cultivated but not officially listed because they were not found in the wild and they were grown in uh, perhaps a nursery or the or a garden that has grown distinctly to uh, the uh, three or the four that was collected. There was a, another one uh, with the collection number PF0072 uh, that was found in Riviere. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it was uh, collected 1964, so I do not have any idea what that looks like. So, again, thanks to the people who uh, shared pictures of their pinguicula, and perhaps uh, I will show you uh, my own specimen. Uh, that specimen was given to me by a friend and also a collector of San Siberia, Ed uh, Francisco. He has given me... Um, a couple of pinguicula but none of them survive except for this and uh, I'll be back in a bit so we can uh, so that I can show you the uh, pinguicula that I am talk talking about alright folks so we're back and this is the uh, pinguicula that I was talking about so it is still very small this is my hand and uh, this one is the only surviving pinguicula uh, that I have and was given to me by uh, one of my uh, closest friends and the uh, San Javier tribe, uh, Edmund Francisco. So he has given me or sent to me about three uh, pinguiculas, but this is the only one that survived. Actually, this has been uh, with me for at least three years, I think, or five years. So uh, before I planted it, it was really uh, shriveled. Right now, it has uh, it begin it begun to be plump. So I I do not know if there are uh, any root. Uh, I think there are. It had rooted uh, well because uh, before when I touch it, it would be I would be able to easily uh, move it. But right now, it's uh, really uh, stuck into the ground. So. I'm hoping that I could uh, grow this to a larger size uh, like what uh, Al has uh, uh, shared on the uh, International Sensibilia Society group uh, in uh, at, at Facebook. So uh, as comparison, it, it is very small uh, as it is as big as what Eric has given me. So in a span of how many years? It might be uh, located in a, a spot that uh, it's not really good for its development but uh, sometimes uh, I'm very resilient so this one uh, have managed to survive and I think it will start growing pups I'm not sure if it will be dwarfed because uh, you can compare it to the Masoniana that I have and it is planted beside it and that's a very very large masoniana uh, that's almost uh, three feet I think compared to this very very small pinguicula and that's uh, Pawisi and more uh, giant uh, masoniana over there so uh, 
this uh, again is uh, what I would like to share. Uh, this is uh, what Ed was had given me, and this is the only one that survived. Although the uh, center, the core actually have rotten out. It's just a miracle that it was able to survive for how many years? Years just like that, and uh, I won't be surprised if uh, anytime soon it will be uh, giving pups of its own. So I'm not just sure if it will still grow to a robust size or it will be dwarfed, but uh, perhaps in the future I can give you an update of this pinguicula that I have planted directly to the ground. So uh, I'm expecting it to be a giant, but uh, there are no, uh, there is uh, not enough uh, progress because uh, I have uh, planted it same time as I planted the plants that are beside it, save for that. And the Masonianas have uh, grown so large in comparison to the Pinguicula. So I, I think this is it for uh, this uh, video, folks. And uh, if you like what I presented, please don't forget to uh, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions, don't uh, hesitate to leave a comment down below. And I hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Thank you and you have a great day.